Later today, the trial for Austin police officer Christopher Taylor is set to begin for the shooting death of Mike Ramos in April of 2020. Fox 7 Austin's Kelly Severa joins us live from the Travis County Courthouse with the details. Hey, Kelly. Good morning, Casey. 42-year-old Ramos was killed in the parking lot of a Southeast Austin apartment complex on Pleasant Valley Road. Somebody called 911 indicating that two people were in a car doing drugs and producing meth. They also said that one person in the car, presumably Ramos, had a gun. The other person in the car was his girlfriend, Rebecca Garcia. The suit claims that Ramos's uh, Fourth Amendment rights were violated. Cell phone video shows Ramos saying that he does not have a gun on him, lifting his shirt and walking around in a circle to show that. An officer shot Ramos with less than lethal rounds while his hands were still in the air. At that point, Ramos jumped back into his car and tried to drive away. Officer Taylor opens fire, hitting Ramos in the back of the head, killing him. This is the first of two murder charges for Taylor. Taylor and another officer were indicted for murder and deadly conduct in connection to the July 2019 shooting death of Dr. Maurice De Silva. De Silva was having a mental health crisis, and APD responded to multiple 911 calls from his neighbors. Police say that De Silva was holding a knife to his neck when they arrived. He eventually put it down to his side, but walked forward towards the police officers, and that's when he was shot at. He was taken to the hospital, where he later died. Back to you. Kelly Saber from the courthouse, thank you so much.